हेलो एवरीवन गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम टू कोटक सिक्योरिटीज वीकली फंडामेंटल पॉडकास्ट दिस इज रिनी मेहता एज यूजल आई टॉक अबाउट इंडियन मार्केट्स परफॉर्मेंस फर्स्ट सो सेंसेक्स एंड निफ्टी सो पॉजिटिव रिटर्न्स लास्ट वीक वेर एज बी एस सी मिड कैप एंड स्मॉल कैप विटनेस्ड मार्जिनल डिक्लाइन अमंग सेक्टर्स बी एस सी आई टी एंड बैंकेट्स वर लीडिंग गेनर्स वेर एज बी एस सी हेल्थ केयर एंड ऑटो वर अंडर प्रेशर मीन वाइल सेकेंड क्वार्टर अर्निंग्स परफॉर्मेंस हैज बीन अहेड ऑफ एक्सपेक्टेशन ड्रिवन बाय बैंक रिजल्ट then net fpi flows that is foreign uh, portfolio investors flows have been positive last week uh, i'll come to foreign flows in a bit before that let's look at the global markets now global markets witnessed a rally as the us cpi print softened and uh, possible enhancing hopes of some uh, moderation in future rate hikes by the central banks uh the us 10 year treasury yield also softened post in us inflation coming in uh, weaker than expected yeah now so uh, coming uh, back home as we enter the last few days of result season the market focus going ahead will gradually shift towards global and domestic macro data points that includes inflation central banks action amongst others coming back to foreign flows after being net sellers in the month of october fii's turned net buyers to the tune of rupees 12490 crores in november so far fii flows are expected to remain volatile in the near term given the headwinds in terms of geopolitical concerns among other reasons if we speak of emerging markets fpi flows during the month so far were mixed with india philippines South Korea, Taiwan and Thailand witnessing inflows. On the other hand, Indonesia witnessed outflows. Uh moving on to uh, some stock ideas. Uh first is Mutut Finance. Uh a uh, weakness continued in second quarter amid uh, macro positives. So uh, Mutut Finance reported almost flat net, net interest income. despite the exit of uh, teaser rate loans with a marginal inch up in yields and quarter on quarter loan growth we expect the benefit of the gold loan rates rise gold price appreciation and its and its branch expansion to drive net interest income over the medium term uh, valuations juxtaposed uh, to a higher return profile remain undemanding so we retain a uh, buy on the stock with a fair value or target of rupees 1250 lastly uh, again from the banking space uh, we have icici bank uh, the bank reported a solid quarter with 40% year on year earnings growth led by 18% year on year operating profit growth and 40% year on year decline in provisions Net interest margins expanded 30 basis points quarter on quarter. Loan growth was strong at 23% year on year. Slippages were less than 2% and credit costs were negligible. We retain we maintain buy rating with a fair value or target of rupees 1070. Guys, it is a top pick in the large cap category. and every passing quarter it's been giving a uh, greater comfort to investors yeah so that's all for today guys uh, see you again next week signing off